if you can only hear audio to one speaker, you might not be deaf in one ear. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love from Power Director University. All right, my Power Director peeps, y'all want to know how to take that mono audio and change it into stereo audio so you can hear it in both your left and your right channel? Well, I'm about to show you how to get that done. So let's jump off into Power Director and make it happen. All right, Power Director peeps, here we are in Cyberlink, Power Director 14 Ultimate, and I'm about to show you how to turn that mono into that stereo. But before I do that, I got to remind you of a few quick things. Remember to like, comment, and share this video. When you do those three things, it lets people know that the content in this video is good. So remember to like, comment, and share, all right? Smash the subscribe button. You got to smash the button in order to see this content on the reg. If you want to see content like this uploaded every other week, then you got to subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, you'll be missing out. And if you don't subscribe and you miss out, you got nobody to blame but yourself. Let's make this mono to stereo thing go down real quick. As you can see, I have a audio clip in my timeline. You can tell that because there is only uh, data or media on the audio track in track one. Now, if I play this, you'll be able to tell that there is only audio coming out of one channel and it is only coming out of the right channel. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik. And I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love from Power Director University. Now, you get audio files like this mostly when you're recording from an external device. And usually that device can have four channels, it can have two channels, can have however many channels as you want or as that device needs to have. But most times when you record off of an external device, you can record stereo, but most times people record in um, mono or mono. So when you do that, once you get it into your editor, you want it to come out of the left and the right channel. You want it to be stereo, right, instead of mono. So I'm going to show you how to go about doing that. If I left click on this audio clip, you see that I have op an option to edit audio. So I'm going to click on edit audio and then it's going to give me an option to edit it in audio director because I actually have audio director as well. And if you don't have audio director, you should still have wave editor. Wave editor is a program that you can download when you download and install power director to your system. So if you installed wave director or wave editor at the time that you install power director, then you will have the wave editor option here as well. So I'm going to click on wave editor and it's going to close down power director. It's going to open wave editor and it's going to bring that file into the wave editor. Now you can see I have my left channel and my right channel and you can see that I only have a waveform in my right channel, which means that the right channel is the only one that has audio. The left channel has audio, but it only has a uh, slate that I recorded to um, sync up my audio and my uh, video. But I don't really need to use it with PowerDirector because it has a great syncing function in it. But I do that every time just in case. So what I want to do first is I want to change this so that there's only one channel is selectable at a time. So in order to do that, I need to click on single channel edit. Now I can click on the channel that I want to edit. And so since this is the one I want to edit, I want to edit the right channel, I'm going to left click on it. And now I'm going to do control A to select the entire 
waveform on the right channel. Now I can do control C if I want to to copy it or I can click on the copy button here. I'm going to go ahead and click on the copy button. And now I'm going to left click on the left channel. And in order to select the entire channel, I'm going to do control A. And now I can do control V to paste the waveform from the right channel into the left channel, or I can click on the paste button. I'm going to click on the paste button. And now you can see that I have the same exact waveform on the left and the right channel. So now it will play on both channels in stereo. So now I'm going to click on edit both channels. And I'm just going to left click anywhere to take that away. And now you can see I have audio in my left and my right channel. And basically I was right to go. Okay. So now all I need to do is go ahead and click on close. And it's going to ask, tell me I have not saved the changes to the current audio track. Do you want to save the changes now? And I'm going to click on yes, and it will save these changes. It will create an audio file with these changes that I created, and it will replace the other audio file that I had in PowerDirector with the new file that I created. So I'm going to click on yes. And now when I play this, you should hear audio on both channels. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love from Power Director University. And that's how you change mono to stereo or mono to stereo Empowered Director 14 Ultimate. All right, Powered Director peeps, you know the routine. The thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction, click it, like it, live it, love it, hug it, show the thumb some love, people. All right, it lets people know that the content in the video is good. Comments, leave your comments. I'll provide you with answers. If I don't have the answer, I'll point you in the right direction to get you the help that you need. And don't forget, smash the subscribe button. You got to smash that button so that you can get content like this on the regular. And so you know whenever I upload new content to YouTube. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.